Should I give up my career for motherhood? Why should you do that? If you know how to balance. How do you balance? It's possible to balance, uh, especially if you have a very supportive employer, mm -hmm. a very supportive uh, uh, spouse. I like where you've, you've begun it from. Supportive <laughs> employer. employer. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Supportive uh, spouse. Yes. Supportive family. Mm -hmm. And if you have a very good relationship with a caregiver for your child mm -hmm. or your children, mm -hmm. you can balance. These are very key stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Supportive employer supportive spouse supportive family care, family and caregiver, and caregiver. Yes. we'll come to this um <laughs> different stakeholders momentarily mm -hmm. but let me pick from your practice mm -hmm. what are some what are some of these issues that women really do have and why we say women is because there's a lot that's going on in this space especially when you look at employment mm -hmm. in this country so to speak as far as motherhood is concerned and that's why i shot my first question should i give up my career for motherhood and i said no because I'm a mother, I never mm -hmm. give up my career, though it wasn't easy. I mm -hmm. hope uh, a lot uh, has improved in mm -hmm. many institutions. And probably the ones that are watching us mm -hmm. this morning mm -hmm. can also decide to do something. Uh, because I know there was a very big outcry some years back yes. until fathers were given paternity leave. Yeah. Although I don't know how well they use the, <laughs> the 10 or 14 days. Like yes. where I work at African Nazarene University, yes. men are given 10 working days. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know whether they go to support their spouses mm -hmm. or they go to uh, finish their projects. Mm -hmm. uh, we do also have uh, institutions like the Teacher Service Commission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm happy because I became a mother when I was working for TSC. Yeah. And so it was easy easy for me to even like a plan plan how we'll have my three months mm -hmm. but not just three months mm -hmm. I can have my four months mm -hmm. and so that I can have enough time to breastfeed my baby mm -hmm. uh, but that is just one institution that I can say I am aware of where I am with uh, the, the mothers uh, given uh, three months and these three months again if you are lucky for example uh, now we have the semester uh, mm. mode of learning and teaching. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're finishing in the month of May. Mm. And maybe you don't have these mid-semester units. Mm. So you can breastfeed your baby, be with your baby all the way. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. There are some institutions, especially some of the people that I've handled personally. And it saddens my heart. Yeah. Where you find somebody has lost their job because they became a mother not because of economic constraints in that institution because that's a different factor altogether yes, yeah. uh, but because now you have become a liability mm -hmm. or you have changed your shape mm -hmm. maybe you used to be at the reception yeah. or you are like you now you <laughs> <laughs> you don't you're a fit big, big anymore. name host, you know, <laughs> um, and then now you've changed. Maybe yeah. the way people want to look at you, and I feel it. Yes. I really feel it because yeah. um, it's like somebody wants you to go against the natural call that God has given us. Mm -hmm. You know, to be mothers, mm -hmm. we would not have human beings in this world if we were never given birth. Mm -hmm. But apparently, I, I think and I believe uh, sometimes when the world is against you. You can never be against yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is a very big discussion that needs to be taken to all workplaces, <coughs> especially. Because the ones who are self-employed, by the way, when I was Jipanga, they yeah. can plan their time and all that. Although, if you are the single mother, mm -hmm. now that's even difficult, mm -hmm. even if you're running a business. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we... We discuss this intensely yeah. and not forget who we are. Mm -hmm. One thing I always say, Africans should never lose their identity. Mm -hmm. Never, mm. at whatever cost. I hear you. Yes, because uh, if you are not a good enough mother, be prepared to have a very uh, disturbed uh, future citizen, mm -hmm. very disturbed teenager mm -hmm. at all developmental stages of your child. Okay. So I guess here balancing, also knowing how to take care of yourself mm -hmm. is very key. Mm -hmm.